In this video we're going to introduce the key terms relating to circles. Any circle will have a center and a radius. And to begin we're going to take A as the center of our circle and B as our radius. We construct a circle with center A and radius AB. B is a point on the circumference and if we move it we can change the size of the circle. If we move A we can change the size and the position of the circle. Now we have our circle still center A, radius AB, but now we've added to it some other points C, D and E, all on the circumference. The line from C straight through A to D is of course the diameter of the circle. The line CE and the line DE are both known as chords. The chord DE and the arc round from E to D create an area within inside the circle which is called a segment. A radius like AB and another radius here AD together with this arc also form part of a circle which is called a sector. We will now move the positions of some of the points. Certain things remain true. AB is still a radius of the circle. The line from C through A to D is still a diameter of the circle. The line CE and DE are still cores of the circle. Angles may have changed and lengths of sides may have changed but certain things remain true. One line has been added. The straight line that touches the circle at C is a tangent and if we move C around the circle then the tangent follows and remains touching the circle at that one point. Wherever C is we notice that the tangent and the radius from A to C are always perpendicular. If we move the point E around the circumference of the circle then keep an eye on the angle CED. You might notice that it never changes. In fact, it's always 90 degrees, regardless of where E is, which is an example of a circle theorem. The angle in a semicircle is a right angle 